morning, Revival Church of All Nations. Good morning, Malawi. God bless you for being with me, General Prophet Temba. The General Overseer of the Revival Church of All Nations, Prophet Temba Ministries. On this wonderful Sunday morning, you saw me after after coming to preach to you. I first of all had to wash my hands. Because of this pandemic of coronavirus. So you make sure you, you wash your hands with soap. Or you use sanitizers. That will help you to kill 99.9% .9 of germs. I want to assure you we are not gathering because uh, the government has uh, told us not to to be gathering to avoid the corona spread. So the Bible says, if we are the children of God, we must obey our leaders. So we will not be meeting up until the government says so. In the times of uh, Jesus Christ, it was Herodias who said that uh, there must be Caesars. And the people were going there to register, including Jesus and Joseph Mary. It means that even Jesus was able to obey the authority. Father, we thank you and we bless your name for this wonderful hour. I am praying, devoting the service unto your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Vindicate us in your glory. See us full of Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I told you last week, God is working out an answer for us. Let me, let me assure you, this pandemic will not last long. It's for a short period. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Romans. Be with me. Romans chapter 8. I will read verse number 35. This is a revelation of this Sunday. The, the, the theme of the message is. Nothing shall separate us from God. Romans chapter number 8, verse number 35. I read. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? or a coronavirus. Nothing shall separate us. As it is written, you, for your sake we were killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. 37. No. Oh, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. The Bible is telling us about the love that Christ has for us. The Bible is saying what shall separate us from the love of God. Shall tribulation? Shall famine? Is it sickness? Is it setbacks or limitations? Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. This is the deep love that Christ has for us. In the world that we are living in, there are so many things that we encounter. 
We can encounter disappointment at point of breakthrough. We can encounter disappointment in our marriage. All of baldness failing to have a child. All of bankruptcy, no money in your account. The Bible says nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Christ is love. Despite whatever we are passing through, never, never be shaken. Is it coronavirus? The pandemic, the pandemic that has hit the earth? Even Corona shall not separate us from the love of God. For we know either Jesus heals us or not, he's our healer. We know that either he delivers or not, he is our he deliverer. God is faithful to see us through. Listen to me, Malawi. Never lose hope. Never be despised. We do not walk by sight. We walk by faith. This coronavirus we see. We shall see it no more. The marriage crisis that you are heading. You shall see it no more. The suffering that you are passing through. Are just temporary. Nothing shall separate you from the love of Christ. In times of need. In times of sickness. God shall strengthen us. To move on. He is full of grace. And mercy. The Bible says he shall never forsake us. Nor abandon us. And Isaiah 45 verse 1 says. Every mountain shall be leveled. For our sake. Which mountain are you facing? Is it sickness mountain? Is it disappointed mountain? Is it lack of child mountain? Which Goliath are you meeting? The Bible says in Isaiah 45 verse 1. Every mountain that you are facing, every mountain that you are facing shall be leveled. The anointing is moving right now. Believe in Christ. The Bible says in the book of Chronicles, believe in God Almighty and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Here with you is your prophet. A prophet of the nation of Malawi. Hear what the Lord is saying. Fear not, O Malawi. For God did not give us a spirit of fear and intimidation. He, he gave us a spirit of power and sound mind. So we have got the spirit of power. We have got the power and authority to command every situation to lose its grip. You touch your phone. You touch your radio. Touch anything that you're hearing us from. As a medium of hearing, as a medium of a deliverer, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm seeing somebody who is suffering from heart problem. God is going to heal you. I'm seeing somebody who has been fighting with liver problem. God is going to touch you right now. Somebody has an assist menstruation. God is going to touch you. Continuous message is going to touch you. Sugar diabetes is going to touch you. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray together. Touch your screen. Father, I thank you for the nation of Malawi. Thank you for the revival church of all nations. Prophet Temba Ministries. In agreement with all men of God all over. I am praying for the nation. I am praying for that mom, that dad, that child. Those who are sick, be healed. Right In the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 53, 5. By his stripes were healed. Be healed in Jesus. Name. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those who are meeting some different challenges, let may the mountain be 
leveled in the name of Jesus. Be leveled in Jesus. Be leveled in Jesus. Be leveled in Jesus. Leveled in Jesus. I'm speaking abundance. In the name of Jesus. Every disappointment. Be leveled right now. The mighty name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Receive your testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.